name is Dr. Thomas Hendricks. I am the founder and president of Oringa Hope. Recently, I was in Usukami, where I was talking to Pastor Pascal from our partner parish. Pastor Pascal and I were discussing various things about his congregation, and he told me, among other things, that the average parishioner makes $320 a year and has a family of six. Well, this is pretty typical for the rural Oringa region and places them among the poorest people in the world, well below the level of extreme poverty as defined by the United Nations. Uh, what this means is that among the 600 children in the Usukami parish, there are roughly 200 who are malnourished. People get enough to eat because they eat corn mash which they grow but they can't afford the protein, and this hits the children the hardest, which is part of the reason why you see so much stunted growth in the region. There are over a hundred children who are suffering from chronic diseases that could be cured with medical help, but the family simply can't afford it. There are over 150 children who have to leave school and work in the fields because their families need the help and simply have no alternatives. Well, at Oringa Hope, we are working to raise the income of these families. Uh, we believe that rather than giving them a handout, we need to give them a hand up. And the way we do this is with a threefold program. The first part of the program is run by what we call the Microfinance Institute, or the MFI, and it consists of education and training. We train people how to manage their farms better, how to manage their incomes better, uh, how to plan ahead, and we have an agronomist who teaches them how to use fertilizers, seeds, to increase their yields. Second part of the program is we develop a microfinance co-op in the village. This allows the farmers to borrow money to plant their fields. One of the big problems that the farmers face in Usukami is there's no place to get money. So when planting time comes, they take last year's leftover seed and they spread it around and get what they get. Leads to terrible yields and in fact we can increase yields three, four, five fold by simply training them on what to do and helping them purchase the supplies they need. The third part is to introduce a farmer's co-op. The farmer's co-op, they have a place to buy what they need, they have a place to store their crop, and they have a place to sell it at a fair market price. Well, if you put these three together in an integrated program, what you find is we are able to take the members, our members who are starting at 300, and over the course of three or four years, we will grow their incomes to $1,000, $1,100, $1,200 a year, a fourfold increase in income. We do it in a way that does not consume any of the money. In fact, the money that we raise simply is lent to members, repaid, lent, and so it's used and reused and reused. At Usukami, we are trying to start the program. There are 42 families currently waiting to join the Ring of Hope. That's 252 people who are currently waiting to start their journey out of extreme poverty. Oringa Hope has won awards all over Africa. It's been recognized by the United Nations. It's been recognized by the U.S. government. Uh, we have been endorsed by the U.S. ambassador. So the program so far has taken 20,000 people in rural Oringa and raised their standard of living. As I said, right now at Usukami, there are 42 families that are waiting. It takes $500 to put a family on the journey out of extreme poverty to a place where they can afford to send all their children to school themselves, where there is no malnourishment, where if someone gets sick, they can get treatment, and where the well-being of the whole family increases. And that $500 does not consume. It is a one-time investment in this family, and it's just used and used and used. Well, that's in a nutshell the Oringa Hope story. As I said, Usukami has 42 families waiting to start this journey. It costs $500 a family. The question is, how many of them will we be able to start this year?